all right welcome back to the channel guys so i finally got my uh sh fig arts metal cooler in the mail pre-ordered this a while ago uh better late than never because i've already seen pictures and videos and things like that but super excited to have mine in hand so this is what the box art looks like um sh fig arts always does an amazing job let's go ahead and crack this thing open so I'm just super excited because, I mean, number one is metal cooler, but <clears throat> number two is cool that we're starting to get more character releases so that we can add to our collection. So let's put this box to the side. So this is what the figure looks like um, in its packaging. <clears throat> um, has a lot of accessories here. So you have one, two, three, four, five pairs of hands you have a extra set of feet right here there's like a like a damaged metal arm with his shoulder you have his tail and then one two three four different faces so let's get this thing out of the package just plastic off here <clears throat> go ahead and get this guy out of the box or out of the package so um immediately having the figure in hand like he feels super dope looks super dope um all chrome it looks really good in person um it's kind of like oily for some reason but that's okay um before we get into that I'll set them to the side and go over these accessories real quick so something always has to fall i got it <laughs> So accessories, looking up closely, uh, we can just go over these, <laughs> these feet real quick. Um, and again, the, the figure feels like really oily. Um, I think that was said in other reviews or people posting and things like that. Um, you know, I guess every copy feels oily. So, or leave a comment below if yours is not oily. This thing is like super greasy for some reason but these are two extra feet to switch out um probably use them for like flying or like stepping on maybe like a stone that you have made or something like that um hopefully the light picks up the details because it's hard to catch this chrome on camera with the light reflecting so there's the feet we have two open palm hands um this is not chrome it's kind of like a metallic silver which is cool it gives it some kind of like uh like offset color so like i said it's really cool having a new character because you get to look at different details and things like that so uh the details in his hands look great like in between his joints are kind of like uh robotic like inner parts uh, next hands we have our uh semi-closed hands Kind of like uh, gripping hands or creating a blast effect or putting his fist inside but the details look really good <clears throat> next are these kind of like resting hands or i mean everything's a key blast effect right so you can use these as like a like a double palm key blast effect so those look really good also and then next, you can't have the Frieza brothers without having like a pointing beam finger. So Cooler was, his special his specialty was like creating beams, large beams really fast and really easy. He had that upper hand on Frieza, so the details look great. <clears throat> next is his, uh, his like healing metal arm. I believe this is after Vegeta kind of like punched through his body to save Goku. So we'll see what this looks like on the figure towards the end of the video. <clears throat> it comes with this shoulder pad. Uh, it's pretty interesting. I see a ball peg insert right there. So we'll see how that works out. But the detail looks good. Um, I'll go over the tail after the faces. So getting into the faces, we have a, a yelling face. You can't have a Dragon Ball. I keep dropping. 
I'm dropping this because it's, it's oily. The figure's oily, really oily for some reason. Um, you know what, let me get a paper towel. Because for some reason, this thing is oily. I'm gonna put this right here for the rest of the video, but a uh, yelling face. So you can't have a yelling face. Um, or you cannot have a yelling face on a Dragon Ball character. So the details look great. Captured a cooler's likeness very well. Let me go ahead and wipe as we go along. Next is a teeth gritting face. So the details, like I said, it captures his form like really good. It's pretty much perfect is what he looks like. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody like repainted this to get like the normal colors of uh, this form for cooler. Bear with me because it's, you know, if I had to say it again, it's really oily. And then uh, this last face is a smirking face. Again, captured his likeness very well. Looks super dope. Metal cooler here. And then next we have the tail. So looking at this tail, you know, in videos and online pictures and things like that, I mean, we can all see that it's a, it's a totally different sculpt than what we're used to. And I have the other cooler here and the Frieza. Um, so we can see the differences between the tail. So um, let's look at this articulation real quick while I have it off of him. So this goes up and down and that's kind of tight, but it does swivel here. That's like really tight, really, really tight, but it does swivel in a full 360. Uh, you're gonna have to use some kind of like if there's not enough oil on here already you're gonna need more for that so um there's a lot of joints here so this joint is up and down it also swivels uh this joint is up and down doesn't go up and down that far but again when you get this swivel going i'm sure you could get it in good positions uh this second to the last joint does fold all the way so that's good um, it also swivels very easily. And then the last joint um, gets a good bend there. So um, it's good to have a new, newly sculpted tail. This kind of looks like a, like a leopard gecko or some kind of lizard. So wipe that off for later. Cool. So I'm going to just go ahead and wipe this because... want to be able to hold this thing that feels a little bit better all right so looking at the figure up close uh, this is the straight face for the last one um, there's no shading in this figure this kind of just goes offset from a chrome to a silver and then uh, like a metallic silver for the fist so articulation he can look down that far. He looks up pretty well. Um, he's got really good side tilt action. Um, the head moves very well. We'll see what that ball peg looks like in a second. Um, the shoulders can go up about that high. It looks like this shoulder flap is kind of like double pegged, I guess you say. Yeah, that's different. Kind of reminds me of Iron Man. So there is a ball peg right there. This thing can swivel like all the way around if you wanted it to for some reason. But that's what that looks like in the inside. And that kind of that lifts up. So well, you can actually get his arm a lot further. And that's about as high as it goes. So if you move all that out the way, you could get his arm about that high. Um, complete 360 there. Butterfly joints. If I can pull it all the way down here. Yeah, they come out pretty well. 
Um, he can't cross if you have it here because this part of his chest is kind of hindering that. But I think, yeah, if you pull him up this way, he can cross him up there. So you get it around this area here. I believe the, the hit figure had this same thing going on with its articulation. So um, that's what the butterfly joints look like in the back. That's cool because it has like the the inside of the robot part. So um, he has the bicep swivel, double jointed elbow with like a pale grayish plastic there. And then the ball pegs, um, there's some good articulation there in the ball pegs. And the ball peg actually looks different also. You can catch that on camera, it's kind of got like ridges in it. Um, so it feels pretty solid. Moving down to, he's got some waist tilt there, uh, waist swivel. Uh, kind of gets hindered by this middle chrome piece right here, like his belly. Get turned about that much, turns that much. Um, it doesn't pull up to get more extension. So his ab crunch doesn't really crunch going forward. Oh, kinda. Oh, it does actually. So you kind of pull it over that, over this flap here, and kind of get them to crunch over. So, so ab crunch going backwards is also hindered because he has like a piece kind of hitting his tail here. If that catches it on camera, so that's gonna touch that part there. Uh, looking inside there again. Just kind of like the, you know, the unprotected metal parts that he has. So we'll lift this up. And if, you know what? If you get it over this piece, you could get more uh, swivel there. So that's actually not bad at all. Um, he can do the splits. Forward. Let me get that on camera better. Splits to the side, uh, splits forward also. Um, this is like a 2.0, so something that we all wish Frieza was. Actually, the Frieza that's coming out, both of the Frieza that are going to come out are going to be 2.0, if not 3.0 technology. So, uh, thigh swivel, that's really good actually. It goes all the way out there. When you bring it in, it kind of gets hindered by his crotch area, kind of like that new Goku that was released. So, but not bad, it's kind of tight. He's got the double jointed knee. And then his feet articulation, um, it's on a ball peg, so up and down. Oh, that came off easy. Well, at least we see what the ball peg looks like. So this is what the articulation would look like. The joints are tight. So up and down, and then a complete 360. So the articulation is good on this figure. And that pops on very easily, I'm assuming, for the, uh, the changes that you're going to do with his feet. So let's go ahead and get this tail on here. After I wipe one more time. And so I'm not sure what all the oil is for this figure. Make him look more shiny in the box. <laughs> He's already shiny enough, but let's go ahead and uh, play with these accessories that he comes with. So I think uh, one of the one of the concerns was this figure was like paint rub. I don't really see that happening after I went through all that articulation with this figure. I don't see any kind of paint rub, so um, I don't think there's any danger there. I think if there was, it would have already rubbed off already. So this is what the tail peg looks like. It's kind of got this top slot here and you can see that it pretty much fits to form. Yeah, so this should go upwards like uh, 
is that right? Oh, I'm sorry, it goes down. So yeah, you can see that this little slot here is right above the screw. So it actually goes this way. Um, so that means that this should be like that. So plug this in and that goes in pretty easy. And his tail is like super long. I think that's pretty dope, honestly. So again, the articulation is great. Like um, if this joint, like you could get this joint nice and loose, I'm sure after a while, but you could get this thing in all kind of crazy poses. So uh, now that the tail is on, I will go ahead and do like a height comparison before we get into the other accessories here. So let's get them to stand straight. So bear with me. I keep wiping my hands. So this is how he scales next to Golden Frieza. And I think that fits to scale because uh, Cooler was definitely taller than Frieza. So Frieza is like a very small character. <clears throat> Next we have Vegeta. I think that scale fits. Vegeta should be shorter than Cooler. But then Cooler, I believe, is a little bit shorter than Goku. So I have Goku here for the next uh, height comparison. Here's Goku. Um, get him to stand straight up. Yeah, so Goku's is slightly taller. Yeah, slightly taller. So that, that scale works out perfectly. And then last but not least is uh, Final Form Cooler. So that works out well. Um, I drew lines in this cooler, so if it looks a little bit different, I just got a uh, a marker and just start writing in the crevices. So uh, the scale works well. Again, like I said, with the tails here, this cooler only has one, two joints, while the new cooler has one, two, three, four, five joints or ball pegs rather to increase the articulation. So they change it up a lot which is great. And then obviously Frieza doesn't have any kind of articulation in his tail. Hopefully the uh, the new releases will have that. So next we can see what this uh, arm looks like. So let's see if we can get this to work here. So this shoulder is on a peg. So after you, well, well, they both came off. They both came off at the same time. That means it comes off easy. So again, this little peg goes in the little slot in there. So go ahead and switch this one out. I'm putting this right on here. push this little peg up so you can get some kind of stability that works yeah, that works so it's on there um it's kind of like loosely on there but it is on there and then this is what the peg looks like for this arm so excuse the person coughing outside so we'll see how easy this goes in to this slot here so simply yep that plugs in very easy and there's no articulation in this arm and this actually goes this way yeah it goes that way so that is how you assemble it's kind of like the arm that's growing back <laughs> 
Um, but I think that looks pretty cool, man. It gives it some contrast, so that's what it looks like. But again, there's no articulation in this arm. But it does make him look different when you put him on display. So we'll see how these feet work before I do uh, a face swap before the closeout. So these pegs come out very easy. That's what the peg looks like. Even though there's uh, ridges there, like it plugs on, actually slides off like super easy. It has like a little click. So um, I'd say be careful with that, but at least nothing will break. So we'll get this foot on here. Kind of make him look like he's standing on a rock, even though there's no rock. Let's see if we can get him in a somewhat of a pose here to close out. Make him balance. Like that. Just imagine there's a rock right there, guys. And then we'll see what this, uh, oh wow. This peg looks a lot different from what we've seen. So this part kind of like stays on the actual peg. Has a lot of articulation. And it's kind of like a power plug that plugs into his head. And that's like a hollow head. So we'll go ahead and put the smirking face on here. Cause this is when he grows his arm back and then he's ready to get back at Goku and Vegeta so this is the SH Fig Arts metal cooler um, if this video was helpful go ahead and hit that like button if you want to look out for my next videos to come go ahead and subscribe until then thank you for watching